Proteins are an essential part of your diet. They're found in a wide range of foods, everything from burgers to beans. But not all proteins are the same. Some proteins are surrounded by stuff that's bad for you, like saturated fats. That would be the burger. Other proteins are coupled with good stuff, like vitamins and minerals and fiber. Yes, I'm talking about the beans. We want proteins because they can play a critical role throughout the body, helping it make and repair cells. Every one of your cells contains proteins. They're a major part of your muscles, bones, skin, and hair. The basic building blocks of proteins are called amino acids. Think of amino acids as letters in the alphabet. Just like our 26 letters can be arranged in hundreds of thousands of words, the 20 basic amino acids can be arranged into tens of thousands of proteins. And while the body can make most of these 20 amino acids, it can't make nine of them. These nine are called the essential amino acids, and we must get them from the proteins in our diet. Based on that, proteins in foods are considered either complete or incomplete. Animal proteins generally contain all the essential amino acids. Those are complete. Soybeans are the only plant protein that is complete. Proteins from fruits, veggies, grains, and nuts are missing at least one essential amino acid. They're incomplete. This is a crucial point for vegetarians who need to be sure to eat a variety of foods with protein to make sure they get all of their essential amino acids. Protein helps you feel fuller and doesn't cause spikes in blood sugar. And while it's an important part of a healthy weight loss plan, beware of high protein diets. They're not balanced. All protein sources aren't the same, and the trick is to pick out the healthy ones in the right amounts. Here's what I tell my patients. Eat a mix of proteins because different sources offer different benefits. With animal proteins, you have to be careful because they often contain a lot of unhealthy fat, saturated fat. Limit your intake of red meat and avoid processed meats like deli meats and hot dogs. Both have been linked to a higher risk of certain cancers. The best sources of animal proteins are lean meats like poultry without the skin and fish. When it comes to dairy products like butter and whole milk, look for low or non-fat options like skim milk or low-fat yogurt. Proteins like those found in nuts, beans, whole grains, and soy are a good option. They're a terrific source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Soy products also contain omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. Some even contain fiber. It's still unclear whether soy proteins play a role in preventing hot flashes or chronic disease. What is clear is that soy products like tofu or soy milk can provide a great alternative to less healthy proteins in your diet. As an experienced nutritionist, I know a lot of people avoid proteins because they're afraid of the fat. Remember, some fats are good, and so are some proteins. You need them both. When they're eaten from smart sources and in sensible portions, they're the foundation of a healthy, balanced diet.